All right, hey YouTube, a um, little bored, and I have a few update updates to do. Um, not that many though. As you can see, I have an iguana sitting on my head. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, w I had her out earlier. She was sitting on my shoulder, and she just climbed up there. All right, well, like in my one video, I said that I was that I had the one iguana up on Craigslist to get rid of, and yeah, I got rid of her. See, she's no longer in that tank. No longer in that tank. Instead, I have Beaudre, my Colombian red tail boa, in there. As you can see, he's sitting right here. He's going in the shed. And, yeah. Right. And he's going on the camera. <laughs> okay. No on the camera. And as you can see, his cage is pretty, pretty tight. There's like tons of rocks and foliage and everything everywhere. And the old cage that he was in, the Exoterror, yeah, the, that and the light source is on Craigslist. I'm selling it for 40 yeah, around $40, which is a lot better compared to what I got it for. <laughs> um, and then we have the rats, which are gone because I fed them all. Yeah, and then we have Chloe's cage. Isn't really anything that's changed in there except she's always in her hide. And the iguana is in shed. As you can see on her leg right here, she's in going in the shed. See? Ta da! Piece of skin. Yeah, she's going in the shed. She's my baby though. She's a, she's a good girl. But her cage, really, there's nothing to ch talk about, really. And I guess I'll put the iguana away real quick, and I'll take up Beaudre for a few minutes. So just so you guys can take a look at him. Here, let me put the camera down. I call my necklace, will you? Okay, come on. In your cage. Just get in the cage for now, please. I'll take you out later. There you go. Alright, and now let's get Beaudre out of his cage. Here I guess. Yeah, clamps on both sides of it. I don't trust him. He's a strong snake. He has escaped before. I don't want to chance it. <laughs> I really don't. Cause my mom will probably kill him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop doing that. Let go of the tank. Let go of the vine, will you? Come on. Yeah, you want to come out, don't you? Alright, let's bring the camera over here. Yeah. As you can see, his belly is turning pink. I don't know if you can really see it that well with this camera. But his belly's starting to turn pink and everything, yeah. Um, and, I, and you can also see how he's turning dark. His eyes are starting to haze over. If you, you can't really tell with that, really. But other than that... You like edgy? Get out. <laughs> Sorry about that. And other than that, you can see how he's really starting to get dark. His belly's turning pink and his scales are becoming loose. That happens every time he starts shedding. But he's my big boy. He's a big puppy dog, really. <laughs> and he never sits still. I mean, you could hold him forever, but he'll never sit still. He'll go anywhere. He really wants, unless you're holding him constantly. And he was sitting in his water dish, so he's all wet. <laughs> Say goodbye, Beaudre. <laughs> all right, let's put him back in his tank real quick. He's not going to want to go back in here because he was just out. Yeah. Alright, time to put the clamps back on. Yeah, 
I have this thing mad clamped up. As you can see, there's like a, two clamps on each side. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Yeah, let's move that back over where it's supposed to be, right there. And with her cage, you know, I mean, she does try to get out, but the thing is, is that her her lid is so heavy because it's just made out of wood and everything that it's already got so much weight to it that she really can't lift it up at all. But yeah, other than that, everything's great. And like I said, the Exoterra cage, including the light, is on Craigslist. And I guess I'll throw in like the Exoterra water dish that came with it to go, because I really don't need it. Alright. 